popular metaverse token sand catapulted into the top 50 cryptocurrencies by market capitalization yesterday at number 35 after growing 76% in the last 7 days according to data from coin market cap sand is a native utility token for an upcoming open world blockchain game called the sandbox and it has been rallying for a whole month now it even weathered a market wide pandemic related crash Tuesday's announcement that Adidas has a plot of land reserved in the sandbox contributed to some of its growth this week. While the token was briefly trading for more than a dollar back at the end of the August and early September, it didn't sustain that price level for more than a week. However, sand crossed the one dollar mark again on October 29 this year and day after Facebook will brand to Meta as a part of its bid to corner the metaverse. Sand has only grown since then to the point where it command the price of $6.9 at the time of this video. If we put its recent performance in the wider context, that is an increase of more than 7,000% since New Year's Day. Back then, it was barely worth 4 cents. Tomorrow, the sandbox opened its door to the curious crypto fans and gamers for the very first time as Animoca Alpha tested the game for the next 3 weeks. Starting at 1 pm UTC, every gamer will have access to play 3 different multiplayer games in the sandbox. A further 15 games will be available to the 5,000 like winners of Alpha Pass NFTs, which were given a prizes over the last fortnight. Sand's price often rises and falls in tandem with another metaverse token called Mana. Mana is the native token for the another open world game called Decentraland, which launched in February last year. Mana suffered an overnight loss of 4.5% today as Bitcoin and Ethereum post losses of around 10% though it's still up 22%. After months of coverage, the world will finally peer into the sandbox tomorrow. No doubt there will be a few surprises.